Well, hello physics class and welcome to the video. If you notice, I believe right about this same time a Google Doc posted. It's the one I've been wanting to do for a few days right now. It's just my lovely face on there. Um, but I want to explain a little bit what happens and then when we're looking at those ray diagrams in a few days, um, it's going to be something that we try to do and um, if you don't have a ruler um, or straight edge, some of you said, I, I want to try to figure out a way that we could do that or get things um, that would kind of make sense. I don't know if there's a way I could post something on Google Docs. So you could always try to use that or something, but um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always be doing all of them in front of you. Um, and hopefully um, someday when we're back together, you guys would be able to um, use the rulers at school and stuff like that. But so if you are kind of minimizing maybe YouTube or whatever you have to do, sometimes it can still play in the background. Um, I'm going to try to turn to the side a little bit and also have the camera see, but like I got to look very carefully here because I want to, like no matter how close or far away I get, um, my face really doesn't change much on this mirror. Okay, on this mirror, you just kind of see me how I am if I would look at it, but I wanted to make sure you could see it. Um, the way it show, stuff shows up on here, um, it's just exactly how it is. There's nothing else that's going on. Um, and so when I'm looking in a plain flat mirror, I see myself. If I'm really close, I look really close, you know, just like if you'd walk up really close and look somebody in their face. Um, but something really interesting happens when we use this. Um, this is, um, I had two different mirrors. This gray one is the front and back one that we've seen before. Um, this would be one that you like stick up in your locker, stuff like that. Um, it's a compact mirror. Sometimes when I'm doing stuff, I talk about the gray mirror and the black mirror, the big mirror, um, that big one we saw last week at school. Um, I don't have that. I didn't bring that home to work with me here. But um, you notice that on the picture you saw, and I, guys, I took some of those on the first take with taking it with the camera next to my eye so you could see it. But like when you start really, really close, your eyes look really, really big. I mean, hence the point of the makeup mirror so you get all your makeup right and get all the little things out of the way and whatever else is going on and so that. But did you notice that as I moved, like it was maybe hard to tell, but this is why I'm bringing it up. If you look at that, when I kind of had it close to me and then I was moving it away, my face got really, really blurred. And then all of a sudden, when I moved back a little bit more and I really tried to line it up, like right now, I see my face upside down in this. Uh, there we go. There's my face upside down. And it kind of looks smaller. I mean, I think it looks smaller because like it's in there. All right. And so like as we do that, and let's see if I can get it here. There's the table. So where's the, see, oh, guys, there's a the computer. There was a computer. There, there was one of my calculators. You know what? since I'm getting that table right now, like there's pens and pencils and stuff like that. And it looks smaller, you can tell that. Um, and so like interesting things go on when we do that. But if you notice that black mirror, and again, uh, where did that little, there it is. I don't know how well it's, it, yeah, I need to find a better thing. Like this mirror, if I kind of hold it to this side, oh my goodness, there's my big face too. Hello. Um, if I hold it to this side, you can kind of tell how curved this one is. Again, this one on this side is curved, but it's kind of hard to tell. And like if I'm looking at this, and again, I should have tilted it, but I want you to pay attention when you're looking on Google Docs. Like my hand is all the way back here and I can still see my face upright and it's still big, okay? I can still see my face upright and it's big. When I was using this mirror, it was more curved. By the time I'm about right here, I'm blurry and I'm upside down. I see myself upside down and my arm is only this far away from my face. Guys, depending on how curved a mirror is, and that's really cool that I can kind of do that and you can see my face upside down in that one. Um, Let's see if I can do that with this one too and compare the way my face looks in the two of them. Because, you know, even something like that just tells you how it is. So the reason I made you guys all, that you could all edit that 
Google Doc is because I know a few of you, and I can't remember off the top of my head, when you were sending me pictures, I was like, hey guys, that will be a good mirror to use in a couple days. And a lot of times it's kind of like one that was like this, but a couple of you had it on a stand and like you can flip it back and forth like this. I want you to play around a little bit. And this gray one, I know this. It's really tricky sometimes, but I would have to have like last year with the girls that I had in physics class, I would have one of them sit still and the other one would like back away, whether the person holding the mirror or the person with that was looking at themselves, because sometimes when you're holding it and somebody else's, you can't see your face too well. This gray mirror has a curvature, uh, the radius of curvature, like we were talking about the other day, just a little bit. The radius of curvature on this gray mirror is pretty large. And so that means you have to be a pretty far way away from it in order to like see a huge difference going on. This one, the curvature is not very big. And therefore, as soon as you're just a little bit away, things already show, excuse me, show up flipped upside down. And so it's kind of weird how different mirrors work. And again, if I would try to point these both down at the tabletop, the way the tabletop looks in these two mirrors is different as well because the way they're curved and the way that they're showing up things. And again, if we were in class, guys, I would have you guys pass them around. It's really crazy. I should, I should try to have somebody take a picture of that because the way my two eyes look, it looks like I'm not even supposed to be the same person. The way my eye looks in that one and then the way my eye looks in that one. It just looks funny. And so if you have two different mirrors, I mean, like, I could even do that if I held it up to this side. Um, and so I want to see some pictures of you guys, kind of like I did with the taking a picture, whether you can do it by yourself or whether you have to have somebody else holding it and then take a picture of the camera. Um, there's a few other pictures sometimes I'm going to upload on there. Sometimes it works well, not necessarily to try to use your eye and see your face, but just like hold your hand in the way and the camera's there. And, Cause like, look at how you can see that in that one. Um, and then like right there, do you see how the, like you guys can see the camera, you can see my phone a little bit better in there and stuff like that. So I know we kind of did this the other day with um, the spoon, but if you have one of these mirrors guys, and I know not everybody does, but even if you don't, I want you to go on the Google doc and look on the Google doc and email me please. Um, just with physics, having fewer numbers, it's not a big deal to get all your emails every day. Um, so usually I'll have you guys email me, but email, email me back and just observe the difference between like, does the size of my nose look the same? Or does the size of my eye look the same? Like as you're backing up, um, those are going to be important things that we do and we get to in the next few days and important things that go on. And actually you guys don't really understand how often you use mirrors like that when they're far way away. You're like, oh, things are flipped upside down. We don't ever really use that. It, it's actually used a lot more than um, what you maybe think it is. So anyway, um, the other thing I want you to respond to in the email, I know last week we did a Google Hangout. Um, I would like to do another Google Hangout um, with you guys. Um, I don't know if last time 11 o'clock worked for most of you, which is awesome. Um, the two guys who couldn't make it told me they had other stuff going on that was unforeseen. Um, and it would just be really cool if I could get to talk to all of you guys again and explain a few things and try to see a few things. Um, I've really been hoping Tucker could make an appearance, but she is sleeping right now, and so she's not even paying attention. And Sometimes she does, sometimes she doesn't. Maybe we could... Um, try to get her in the reflection or something. But anyway, um, I miss you guys, and I really wish we could be doing this these things together because it is really cool how you can see these things happen. And um, yeah, if you guys have one of those um, mirrors that's like that where it makes it bigger, um, let me know that as well because when we are doing the hang, hangout, I would like to know... Um, to know um, who does have one and doesn't have one. And I'll ask you that when we're there too, but that way when we're doing that hangout. So let's try to see, so respond to the email. Tell me um, how things are going. Tell me how the, if you have that mirror or not, and if you are able to do a Google Hangout on Wednesday at some point. So um, yeah, have fun playing around with the mirrors. I, so, I'm sorry for those of you who don't have one. 
Um, but hopefully uh, we can still kind of figure out what's all going on and see how life goes as we are on our separate ways. I really miss seeing you guys every day and hope you're doing well. Bye.